Hello everyone, in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to create a free email campaign in Canva or how to use Canva for email marketing. The first thing you want to do is go onto Canva and you are going to create a, an account. And you can create an account quite easily on Canva. All you'll need to do is enter your name and email address. Once you have done that, you are going to tap on the search bar. And from here, I want you to type in email. After selecting email, you are going to tap right where you see email marketing. And then you are going to be redirected to this page on which you'll see numerous email marketing templates you can choose from. And the beauty about Canva is they offer us numerous templates that makes it easy for us to create eye-catching email templates that will convert whether you're looking for more traction, for example, if you want to get more customers or so on, you'll be able to use the beautiful templates on Canva to do that. And by the way, anyone that you see with a crown, that means that you would have to be a paid subscriber on Canva to have access to that particular template. But there are a lot of templates that are completely for free that you could use. For example, this one right here, now all you have to do is tap on the template that you would like to use. After you have done that, you'll be redirected to this dashboard on which you will see the pages as you can see right here. Then you are going to tap on customize this template. After selecting customize this template, you will be redirected to this dashboard. And from here, we'll be able to edit our new email template. And you will see a menu option on the left hand side as you can see right here you have design elements uploads text and draw and you can also scroll down and you will see background now if you would like to change the background first off all you have to do is tap on the image and you can change the background color if that is the only thing you want to change by simply going over, let me show you, so you'll tap on it. Then you'll go over to the top left hand corner right where you see background color. And from here you could tap on the color box and you could choose a color as you can see right there. And you can also edit the template. So let's say for example we want to change the text right here. All you have to do is tap on the text box. Then you could type in whatever you want. So let me type in something real quick. As you can see right here, then you can change the text font. You can change the font style and you can also change the font style if you want. All you have to do is highlight the font. Then you can go over to the top left hand corner right where you see ultra and you'll be able to select any one of these font styles and you can also change the size of the font by tapping right where you see 108 on my screen and if you wanted to increase the font size you can if you wanted to decrease the font size you can also do that and you can change the color of the text by tapping on the capital a and from here you'll be able to select a text that you color that you would like to use as you can see right there so again, if you would like to change the background image overall instead of just changing the color, you could tap on the box. Then you'll go over to the left hand menu option. And from here you could choose uploads and you could upload a background image. Or you could scroll down, tap on background. Then from here you could select one of the preloaded backgrounds on Canva. So let's say for example, I want to use this background right here, all you have to do is tap on it and you can see that the background image has changed. So let me see, tap on this one right here. You can see it right there and you can scroll down and you'll be able to change the background image and you can also change the text style on this particular one. And anything you want to remove, you can simply tap on it. To remove it as you can see right here all you have to do is tap on it then select the trash can to delete that particular item as you can see here now after we have done this what i want you to do next is go over to the top right hand corner and you are going to select share 
after selecting share you are going to scroll down and you are going to tap on download once you have selected download you are going to download both pages and you are going to download both page individually so you are going to download page one then you are going to tap on download and after you have downloaded page one i want you to go to the top right hand corner again tap on share and from here you are going to scroll down select download then you are going to download page two so you are going to simply type in two then you are going to tap on download now that both pages have been downloaded we are going to go onto mailchimp as this is the platform that we'll be using to send to do our email marketing and with mailchimp you can sign up for free all you will need to do is tap on start free trial and from there you will enter some basic information your name email address and so on and create a password once you have done that you will be redirected to this dashboard and from here i want you to go over to the top left hand corner and you are going to tap on create after selecting create you are going to tap on landing page and from here you could give your landing page a name or better yet since we are doing email we are going to select email right here and you could select email template then from here you will scroll down and you can tap on get started and you will see the numerous email templates that you can choose from just give it a few seconds as you can see they are loading up then from here you'll scroll down and what i want you to do is select one column which is this one right here so you are going to select right below basic you are going to tap on that then you are going to be redirected to this page and from here we'll be able to edit this template so what i want you to do is delete this section you are going to tap on delete all you have to do is highlight the section and you can also delete the logo right here as i don't want a logo at the moment and from here you can also delete this section the copyright section if you want i'll leave that section for now and then all you have to do now is go over to the right hand column and right where you see image you are going to tap on that and you are going to drag it over to the left hand column so we are going to place image right here in the body and after you have placed the image you are going to tap on upload an image and from here we are going to tap on upload in the top right hand corner and we are going to select the image that we had downloaded from canva so let us select the first page that we had created on canva this one right here and we can also upload a second page so you can see right here this is the first page after you have uploaded the first page what i want you to do is tap on edit and after selecting edit you will be redirected to this dashboard and from here what i want you to do next you can crop or resize it if you want as you can see right here so you could drag it up if you want as you can edit it to however you want as you can see there but what i would like you to do after doing all of that and it is edited to your liking you can tap on save and after it has been saved what you're going to do next is tap right where you see link and from here you are going to paste in your offer what you would like the person once they tap on your email link to go to so you can see right here a link to you can leave it at web address and you could enter the web url or if you would like to enter an email address or if you would like to add a file for example once someone receives their email and tap on the and tap on this page right here they'll be able to download a pdf or so on you could tap on file and you'll be able to upload the pdf now after you have done that you can scroll down and from here you could do the same thing again to add the second page so all we'll have to do is tap on image then we're going to tap on it and drag it across to the left and menu option 
as you can see right here let me do that then we are going to tap on upload an image and we are going to select upload again in the top right hand corner then we are going to add the second page that we had created on canva and you can see the second page is being added and you can see it right here so now we have added both pages and again you could add a link if you would want so you could tap on the link right here then you'll be able to add the link you can also scroll down and right here where you see the socials you can set up your social media if you want or you could drag social follow right here and you'll be able to place it right there and from there you'll be able to add your facebook twitter and also any other url that you want to add as you can tap on add another service and you'll be able to add it right there as you can see right here and once it is to your liking you're going to simply tap on save and close then from in the top right hand corner you can select preview and test so let us preview it and you can see how our email template looks you can see that it is a beautiful email template and once it is to your liking you'll simply tap on the x and if you would like to send a test email you can tap on preview and test then you can tap on send a test email right here to send it once you're finished you're going to tap on save and exit in the bottom right hand corner then you're going to give your new template a name then you'll tap on save and give it a few seconds to be saved once it has been saved you are going to be redirected to the dashboard as you can see right here and the next thing you are going to need to do is select audience from the left hand menu option so you are going to select audience right here and from here you could upload your audience so you could tap on add contacts and you'll be able to add your contacts that you would like to send the email template to and you can also add tags and so on if you want and that's basically it hope you found this video helpful and informative if you did be sure to hit the like button and subscribe and thank you for watching